a little persuasion. So on the, uh, ugh, good grief, on the uh, harmonic balancer, the uh, steering rack has to come out, so first step, get the tie rods broke loose, get the sway bar out of the way. So now I'm uh, working on getting the steering column detached from the steering rack. And the oddest thing, the bolt that holds it together is an 11 millimeter. It's really weird. But I rotated the steering wheel just enough to where I could get to that bolt right there. Um, it's actually an 11 millimeter, but that, that bolt, that's the one I have to get to uh, slide the steering column off of the power steering rack. Here's how I was able to get to it. With a knuckle joint and going up through here. It just slides off once you get the uh, bolt out of there be out of the way get really good the next struggle is getting these lines loose so I ended up having to uh, ah, disconnect this brake line it's just screwed down right there um, and kind of bend this line a little bit but I got them to crack loose the key the problem is there's actually one more, and this is really hard to show, so forgive me with the camera shaking. There's actually one more right there, and it's an 18 mil, and I have no clue how I'm gonna get to it. Um, I got the two little ones loose. That big one is gonna be a pain in the butt. I managed to get the two lines out that go up there. And stupid me, these two smaller ones down here don't have to be unhooked. They just go to the steering rack. So the next thing is the bolts that hold the uh, steering rack together. It actually bolts through, so the, the long part of the bolt is on the other side. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the nut. And then there's one more right there so that's what I'm working on and then that should be the only thing <clears throat> only thing holding the steering rack in there and then I can just slide it out So on this side, it actually works out pretty good. But there's these two oil cooler lines I had to pick up to get over the top of that power steering line. Uh, and then the uh, brake line, I had to unbolt it from the frame. Uh, and there's a little clip point right there. And that gave me enough play in that brake line to actually get it around to the other side of this thing. This one already had enough play, so now it's free. belt off of there so I can start working on the uh, yeah. crankshaft pulley. There we go. 
out of the way. Get the crankshaft bolt loose. And now I'm up against the fan. At least it's loose now. That is a seriously huge bolt. Boy, you talk about frustrating. I've been out here for literally 30 minutes trying to get this thing set up in here. And what I ended up having to do was I finally found a socket that was the right depth and also fit. And then I had to thread a nut onto the, the puller. I had to spend 10 minutes finding a nut that would fit so I didn't strip out the threads of this bearing system for the install tool. This is actually for the install tool. So now um, everything actually rotates and it's pulling the pulley off of there. Before, what it was doing was getting stuck on that bolt and I couldn't spin it because it was just grinding into the bolt. So now I just gotta crack this thing loose and get it all the way off. It finally popped loose. Right as the pulley puller was gonna hit the uh, fan, the uh, cooling fan. So, now I just gotta undo this whole contraption or the whole thing comes out all at one time. And the AC belt was on. I forgot all about the AC belt. Oh my gosh. I'm such a moron. Well, nobody's perfect. I'm definitely proof of that. At least I didn't strip out anything, so that's good news. clean it up around here a little bit. Apparently it was leaking just a little bit. You could see a little bit running down the front here. Oh wow, that just popped right out. I was kind of worried about getting the seal from AutoZone, but the seal that came out has national stamped on it. <laughs> And that's the seals that they sold at AutoZone. So, I guess it's not going to hurt anything. So here was my pulley choice. I uh, scoured the forums and the internet, of course, to see <laughs> what's the best one. And uh, nobody could say there was really a best, but that's the old one. And uh, you can see a little, little shiny spot where the seal was rubbing on it. Um, it's probably why it was leaking, because I can actually hang my finger on that. Um, but the, uh, the new one is quite a bit heavier. Maybe not quite a bit, but it's definitely heavier. But it's the same size. I didn't want to go with an underdrive or anything like that, so it's the same size. But it's got a keyway if you wanted to pin your uh, crankshaft. But I'm not running a supercharger, so I'm not too worried about that. So now I just got to... Put the monster back in there. Putting a crankshaft pulley on is a thousand times easier. It's got this long reach bolt 
the threads down inside the crankshaft. And then this uh, same bearing setup. And then all you do is tighten it down. That easy. Get you guys caught up to where I'm at right now. So I've got the um, crankshaft pulley installed. Got the bolt on there and torqued down. You can see there's a little bit of sealer on there um, because the bolt actually had sealer around the washer. So I put some sealer around it also. Um, and then new bolt, old bolt. So, okay, here's, here's what I did. I did some research on the actual bolt, that bolt that right there. It's a grade 10.9. They're not torqued to yield bolts. I don't understand what the whole torque to yield thing is. It was super tight whenever I took it off. Uh, I had to take it off with my impact gun. Um, so what I decided to do is reuse the old bolt because I took the, uh, the bolt and I measured about 15 places down the length of the bolt. It's constant diameter, which means it hasn't yielded at all. Um, the big issue with these stupid things backing out the way that they do is because of the um, threads getting loose. So what I did was put a, a humongous spooge of blue Loctite all over it. Probably about as much as you saw on the torque tube bolts that hold the couplers together. Um, so it's got Loctite and sealer on it. And I torqued it down to 200 foot-pounds. And I'm just going to let it ride at 200 foot-pounds. Um, I, I don't know. I, I've got it at 200. And I don't have a supercharger, so I'm not worried about that. So now it's just getting all that, all those goodies back together, getting the steering rack back in there. Um, I ended up having to take the sway bar out just cause it was just in the way. And I could not do what I needed to do to get the jaws up in there and everything. So I just took it off. Um, so now I'm gonna put the rack back in there, go to put everything back together pretty much just the reverse of what I had so I'm not gonna video that because I need I really need to make some progress on this thing harmonic balancer oops done